Hello, Mr. Martin. My name is Zelda Tenpenny, and I wanted to talk about a few interesting things with you. If that's okay, at least. Ask away! I'm all ears. Okay! I wanted to start with your childhood. How did you go from a thespian to a criminal master? Care to elaborate? Well, I grew up in Goldsville, Wyoming. I lived with my mother, my grandmother, and my brother Clyde. My father left for another woman when I was five years old. Clyde was born nine months later. As you see, had a real model parent. I'm sorry. I get it when family members aren't around when you need them. Uh, what's next? I appreciate the sediment. Moi. To fill that void, I fell in love with theater. Starred in a Midsummer Night's Dream. In fact, that play got me a scholarship for Juilliard. Studied for years and years. But I faced rejection after rejection after rejection. Isn't that part of the gig? I mean, is that why you turned to crime? Miss Tenpenny, try the acting gig and tell me your emotional state afterward. Anyway, I turned to my brother who was an engineer and working in meteorology on a project for Cadmus. I offered him a deal, he took it, then he created the wand I have now. And soon, I started holding the entire eastern seaboard hostage. You were stopped by the Flash, correct? Yes, because my little brother decided to tattle on me. He always did that. He was never truly my brother. The rogues. When they took me in, they felt more like brothers to me. The family I always wanted. That reminds me, actually. Uh, I wanted to know your thoughts on the resolution to the murder of Owen Mercer. Well, I simply don't believe it. We were intending on removing Owen and correcting our mistake of letting Digger Harkinson's son into our gang. Didn't think that chemical fool Julian was responsible for it. Apparently he's really good at mimicking your guy's powers. That Breaking Bad wannabe got lucky! He's just a butt hurt that the rogues view him as a lesser villain. See, this is why you don't rely on tech for your powers. But you did intend on killing him. Owen, that is. Yes. Boomerang Sr. didn't approve, but his son broke the code. We couldn't let him walk away. Now, he's not able to walk ever. And we have our closure on who actually did it. Glad that's over. So, what's next for you, Mark? Any big plans for world domination or something original for once? Ah, <laughs> very funny, Miss Tenpenny. But I think I might take up parasailing with Kite Man. Are you being serious right now? Of course not. I'm over dramatic, not queer. I plan on finding a way to break out of here and cause some chaos. Maybe I'll find the other rogues at a bar of the corner of Conagher and Infernato. So you guys hang out there a lot, huh? Well, that's interesting. No more questions. This interview is over.